Hi everyone, Kelly Cagle with Gardner Realtors. I am standing outside of my new listing, 1802 Neva Court in Quell Creek in Mandeville. It's four bedrooms, three full baths. It's been painted from floor to ceiling. All the wood floors have been sanded and restained. So I wanted to take you on a virtual tour since people are not able to come out and see the home. So let's take a look inside. Here's the foyer and the formal dining room. The formal dining room does have built-in bookcases. And here is a view of the foyer. Now the whole house has been painted in the same color. It's a Sherwin-Williams. And let's have a look in the kitchen. There is your kitchen pantry. Kitchen does have granite countertops, stainless steel undermount sink, dishwasher. Let's look on this side of the kitchen. Brand new microwave. Little wine rack area for above the fridge. I'm going to back up and show you this view of the kitchen and dining. Okay. Let's go to this portion of the home. Now here is where your garage access is. Two car garage. And what's cool about this house is there's also a door to the garage and then an area with storage. You also have an attic access out here Turn around and grab a shot of that. And here is your laundry room. It does have a sink. It's very convenient in a laundry room. And this is what I call the guest suite portion of the home. There is a huge bedroom back here and a full bath. These doors lead to the back patio. So this would be perfect if you had someone staying out of town and they wanted some privacy. This is on the other side of the house away from all the other bedrooms. There's a nice big closet in here. And it has its own full bath. Linen closet. your shower, your sink and toilet, okay. we'll go back to the other portion of the home now, and here is the breakfast nook area, and the door to the back patio will go out that way at the end of the tour. Here is your living room. It has built-in bookshelves and cabinets, a gas fireplace. These wood floors are absolutely beautiful. They did a wonderful job restoring them. Crown molding. We have the 10-foot ceilings in here. It might be nine foot, don't quote me on that. And there is a wall of windows that look into the back yard. You 
And here we have our first or our second spare bedroom actually. It has a nice size closet. I'll open it up for you guys to see. Okay, we'll go out into the hall. There is your second attic access. And there is a linen closet over there. Let me take a peek in there real quick for you guys to show you the size of it. And right behind me is the third bedroom. And the closet. Nice big closet. Here is a second full bathroom. Linen closet. This is a really deep closet. It's kind of hard to get it a good idea of how big it is. And now we'll go into the master bedroom. There is a tray ceiling. And the third full bath. The master bathroom has a jetted garden tub, a separate shower, two closets, and two sinks. And I'll show you the closets in one second. Here's your shower. Goes all the way back that way. And here is second closet. Okay. Just trying to get another view of the entire house for you guys. Okay, let's take a look in the backyard real quick. Covered patio. There is a fan out here. There is a playset that does come with the home can stay. We have several fruit trees. There's a lemon. There's a satsuma. And then let's go around the side of the house. There is a Rubbermaid storage shed that also comes with the home. This is a corner lot so you can see the whole backyard. There are beautiful oak trees on the property. And we'll go around this way and we'll see the side of the home. I also forgot to mention this is a brand new air conditioner on the guest suite. 
little place for your garbage can to hide. And you can see the path. The side of the home. There's the garage. And that door access we were discussing earlier. Get a view of this beautiful tree. All the azaleas will be blooming soon, so the yard will be beautiful. All right, and here's the front of the home. So if there was any other part of the home you would like to see, or if I missed anything, please feel free to give me a call. Here's my contact information. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Everyone stay well and stay safe.